if you've written a better script, how <laughs> this one went in. I definitely couldn't have written a, written a better script. I mean, it's got it went better than I expected. Um, these guys came out and performed like I know they can, and um, for uh, us to lose by almost 30 but down there and to come back and play the way we did is amazing for us. And if we can play like this all the time, there's a lot of teams that cannot beat us. I guess not go through the emotions. Some kids need need a little bit to kind of get into a game on senior. It didn't look like you really needed a whole lot of time to get over the emotions of them, the moment. Uh, I don't think I needed too much time. Um, once the ball's tipped, I kind of just locked in and knew it was just another game. And um, I just wanted to go out and get a win for senior night. Last year we didn't get a win, so um, I think it was really important for us just to play hard, and we went out and did that. What was the difference there when you girls turned it on in the fourth quarter? It just it, it seemed. Like they had no answer for anything you wanted to do. Uh, I think a little bit had to do with them getting tired. I mean, we pushed the ball a lot this game, and um, they're not used to running down here. So um, Coach talked about just pushing the ball, and then we were knocking down shots and having fun and just knowing that this was our last game at home this season, so we had to um, go out on a bank. Natalie, for the, the young kids, what was – what was the feeling? Was there any talk amongst you sophomores about getting a win for Markel? Because like she said, the seniors didn't get a win last year on this last game. Yeah, obviously you want um, your senior to be able to come out with a couple, with 30 seconds left so the crowd can um, applaud her. And to get that done, you need to be up by a significant amount. So um, that was definitely a goal for all us underclassmen. Let's talk about in the first game, you guys scored 37 points against the total. You had 37 and a half. <laughs> I guess just talk about the difference. Is it just making shots? Is it making three quarters? I guess what was the difference there? Yeah, this season I think you see that we're really comfortable at home. Um, we have the home crowd, and we just shoot better here all the time. So um, I think that was a big difference, and uh, we wanted to get revenge was the main thing. Um, we don't want to want to get beat by 30 and be okay with it. And so it felt good to beat them by 30 now, you know. And um, I think just it being senior night and we wanting to come out and battle it out. So I was proud of Markel and the rest of the team. I guess what Markel talked about, it. Was, was there any revenge factor? I mean, did you guys remember that first game down there? I definitely remember it. <laughs> um, that definitely was in the back of our minds. I mean, we talked about it all week, about wanting to get back and play with them. And um, it felt like forever because we hadn't played them in a while. So um, that's definitely was in our mind to get a little bit of revenge, and we did tonight. I got to ask you, you, you had nine assists today, so you tied your dad. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> you're only two call girls to ever do that, and then tying your dad up. Uh, that's really cool. I mean, I was talking to Liv about that, and my dad was telling me, yeah, I don't think you're going to pass me. And so, um, that means you didn't have like faith I, on us. <laughs> um, tying him is pretty cool, but it'll be even better feeling when I pass him up. <laughs> I guess. Um, I know it's a quick turnaround for you guys. I guess I'll talk about you got one more game left in the regular season. I guess talk about going to San Jose and then the quick turnaround the Mountain West. I guess what, what, what do you got to get done in this next week? Um, it's it's nice that I think that we have this game on Tuesday because um, coach is going to give us a few days off um, after that. You know, of course, we need to go down there with and come out with a win. But um, I think it gives us time to prepare. You know, we don't have – we have a bye on that um, that week. So that will be nice. And I think we have confidence in that because we played really well against Boise after our bye. And um, I think just resting up and um, preparing all week for whoever we have in the Mountain West – um, will be an awesome turnout. You, talk about the, yeah, you, you remember the UNLV game, but I would imagine you remember the San Jose State game and then hitting yeah. that shot at the buzzer, too. I guess talk about that. Um, yeah, it's a heartbreaker. I don't think any of us will forget that this season. But um, So it gives us motivation to go down there and do some damage um, to San Jose. They're a good team, and we can compete with them. Talk about you, too. I mean, obviously, you, know, you guys all took that one pretty hard. That was a pretty tough one to swallow at that mm -hmm. time. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we were with them the whole game, and for them to hit the last second shot, I mean, and like Natalie said, it was a heartbreaker. And um, I think it's nice for us to know that we can play with them, and um, we're just going to have to go down there and play, <coughs> play really well and hopefully get a win before the tournament.